Hello, and welcome to James Lesson's Express Lane Reviews, where we get you out as fast as possible, bringing you the review for Super Troopers 2, the worst drama ever. This, this, how can they call it a tragedy? It's not, oh, it's a comedy? It's a very good comedy? Oh, yeah, it's a great comedy. Just like with Blockers, everyone in the theater is laughing their asses off multiple times. A couple times I'm laughing, it's like, all right, dude, calm down so you can hear the next joke and all that and the next spit and all that. I remember from the old one returns, there's a bear, which we saw in the trailers. Boy, don't see in the trailers. All right, there's going to be some mild spoilers. I'm not going to spoil the ending or anything, but they got fired. There was an incident with Fred Savage. You'll have to watch the movie to figure that out as well, but they got fired. So now, Farva works construction. Uh, Ramathorn works uh, like lumberjack and all that. Everyone works different things. Then the old captain sends him to us like, "All right, we're gonna go fishing. Here's the address where we're gonna go meet up and go fishing. It's gonna be the new station and all that because we doing immigration laws." We were mapping out the border, and we found out oh, the border actually goes up and around this town. And we don't have anyone to work it while the mount is being replaced, so you guys get the job. And it turns out, if you do a good enough job, you get to keep it on. Instead of getting you know, fired or replaced. So it's like, alright, guys, this is our chance. Yeah, but it's Super Troopers. It's Broken Lizard. It's... Nothing's gonna go right. Which, ooh, I forgot to look up if that was actually true or not. One guy, former hockey player, now mayor of the town that's being turned into American instead of Canadian. Apparently he also owns the strip club brothel place, like male and female. Word of warning, there's full-on male and female nudity, if you're offended by nudity. Really? Fuck you. Anyways. But, uh, oh my god. That, yes, there's some callback soldiers, but they have so much new material. They got so much new material in this, it's not even funny. Except it's hilarious! Ah, uh, what's his name? Go play Stifler and American Pies in it. Uh, Dwayne... Oh, Damon, Damon Wayne is in it. Again, Fred Savage is in it. What happens to him is... You gotta... Like I said, they got fired because of what happened with Fred Savage and all that. So, again, I'm not gonna spoil that. But, uh... I mean, there's just so much that goes on in this. And it all works. So you got the Mounties, like the Mounties, and obviously the Super Troopers have the rivalry butting heads. Because the three Mounties are being transferred to a new area because, well, this is now American. We don't have Mounties in America. Oh my god, like, yeah, the trailer showed a lot of stuff, but they kept out some of the best stuff they had going on. Oh my god. And Farva. <laughs> <laughs> oh god i'm just laughing thinking about the oh god this movie is hilarious watch it pay full price like truth or dare you know if you want to pay full price go ahead but it's probably safe for a cheaper day super troopers 2 pay full price movie was crowdfunded they raised four million four hundred twenty six thousand dollars through crowdfunding on kickstarter their goal was two million but, like, they had goals, like, if we reach 3 million, we'll have this guy come back. If we reach 4 million, we'll have a bear. And, like, their prize is like, oh, you donate a 1,000. We'll send you autographed copies of Super Troopers 1 and 2 plus a t-shirt. Oh, you pay 10,000? Ah, we'll give you one of the cars. Oh, you donated 15? We will show up and be the best men and groomsmen of your wedding. Like, they had some crazy-ass prizes. And they sold them all. I think one was, like, $25,000 you got to be in the movie. So, and they sold them. Like, people came out and they funded this as best as they could. And they raised over $4.4 million. The second best uh, crowdfunding movie, only behind Veronica Mars. Like, holy hell. So, uh, so and I think uh, Searchlight Fox, or Fox Searchlight, whatever, said they would, like, match. You raised $4 million, so. 8.8, .8, raised it up to $9 million to make. Then double that for advertising, distribution, so... It needs to make $18 million to break even. This movie better fucking do it, because this movie is hilarious. Go and see it. This movie is great. 
you will laugh your ass off. You'll be laughing so hard, you'll miss the next joke because you're still laughing from the previous one. And again, it has a good ending when you're not going to be expecting. Like, I was like, oh, it's going to be this, it's going to be this, it's going to be this, it's going to be that person, it's going to be that person, and then, nope. So, I was like, oh, that's too obvious, can't be, oh, that's too obvious, can't be, that's going to be this, it's going to be that, and it's like, but I was wrong. Great movie, watch it. You will laugh your ass off. And as always, like, subscribe, comment down below, and have a wonderful day. And yes, I got this shirt. Just specifically to go see this movie and do this review. I'm easily amused.